The whole point of power steering fluid is to transmit power. You can't transmit power if your fluid's full of air. Brian's Mobile One. Does your Volkswagen 25 sound like this? Then you need one of these. It's a suction hose or reservoir hose as they're often called in Volkswagen speak. And it's because your power steering pump is whining and complaining because it's a hydraulic pump. It doesn't like to have anything but hydraulic fluid in there, specifically the green German stuff. It's $13 for 12 ounces at your parts store because it is sucking air. If you ever get a hole in the straw when you're doing a beverage at a gas station, then you know what it's like if you have a hole or a crack in your straw. Like all crappy, it's full of air. And that's what's happening here because it's made poorly. The materials suck, the hose sucks, and that's why it's sucking air. If you see fluid on top of that bracket here for your intake support, uh, you'll notice that there's this where it's welded on. These get cracked. Because when you weld aluminum and then you bend it this close to a weld, it creates a weakness. And if you look closely, you can see the crack on the right hand side right there. You can see there's a little bit of a crack. And if I flex the line, see if I can get that thing to show up a little better. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. It's just cracked that whole way. If you put it back into place, it's just like it wasn't even there. Welding close to where a bend is, you just can't ask aluminum to do that unless you're using really good aluminum. Uh, see that bracket's just for mounting it to another bracket. And they leak power steering fluid all over there. And losing fluid's one thing, your fluid can get low. And before you know it, you're making noise, you top it back off, and then there's a leak. There's another bracket here that's insulated, that is actually a good bracket. I tried to cut corners or do some funky thing here and it's backfiring, right? If you look in the reservoir and it's got glitter in it, there's a good chance you've done some damage to the power steering pump. Apparently, aerated frothy fluid doesn't protect the pump or work as well as just normal fluid. That glitter is filings and wear from the pump. Pro tip, see all the fluid on the floor? get a drip pan out and have the diaper off the bottom of the car and if you stall it between the fans like this halfway because you have to dip underneath this radiator hose uh, that'll save you a whole bunch of mess and clean up just get it lined up to where it's just about center a little bit to the right and it'll save you some paper towels and uh, hassle if you use these cap plugs or save them off your wrecking yard parts or order them cap plugs on uh, Amazon uh, those will save you a bunch of mess too. We've got the reservoir pulled out and it's been thoroughly cleaned. There's no more glitter in it. And so that's ready to go back in. The way these sit in there is, is line up the, I think you should put the lower hose on first, uh, the uh, return from the rack. Anyway, it just sits in there like a shelf and you just push it down, it holds it in place. As far as this goes, it's just two 10 millimeter uh, nuts. There's one on this bracket. I think the guys at the factory put this on backwards. Nope, that's right. And uh, there's just a little stud right here and a stud right here. You have to run it underneath the radiator hose. So you can see right there. And then it pops up to this guy. Um, clamps, it doesn't come with clamps. Why? Because uh, screw you, that's why. <laughs> Uh, so you gotta take them off the old one and put them on that first. I like to put them on the hose part and then slide them back onto it. We got a hose from the dealership. This is the part number for the hose. It's only $120 for this. And we got the right kind of power steering fluid. It's the G004000 1L DSP. Anyway, that's like 30 bucks. So for 150 bucks, you can be back in business. So you got this mounted, these are all connected. You wanna do this first. Uh, you got a smaller grommet. When you put it in, it goes in and then drops down. You might have to get the little lips of this thing around obstacles or whatever. You do this first because remember how we save our cap lugs that come with parts, just like with this one? We capped this and there's still some fluid behind that. I flushed it backwards 
uh, to get all the crud out of it, clean the reservoir. But now we've got a bunch of fluid that wants to just go crazy, so we set up the drain pan. Uh, we've got the diaper off the bottom of the car, uh, that tray, and we're going to pull this off and stick this on. And after we've done all of that, then we stick our brackets on. If you stick your brackets on first, like it's tempting to do, then you're going to be stressing the, ho stressing the line and having this kind of crap happen. So that's why we do this one first, because that way we can't spill once it's in there, it's all connected. And that gives us um, this part, which helps us to flex in and out, side to side a little bit. We'll be doing this off camera, it takes two hands, uh, but then we'll put that on. The tool for the clamps that I recommend is this guy right here. The suppliers with these little things, I'll leave a link in the description for these. If you want a pair of them, I'll see what the best deal I can find on Amazon is. Affiliate link that up. These just do awesome. The little guy goes in the other. And just give it a little squeeze and then it just gives you all the authority that you want uh, to be able to get that to go. And you can stage it like that, they barely fit on, so you can have it just ready to rock. This is done, I've got this back together. Uh, these are all torqued down and in place. A lot of people bring their car in and the power string's not working because this foil seal comes off, it blocks the suction port, gets sucked into that. Or worst case scenario, goes all the way into the power steering pump. Either way, it starves it for fluid and you're right back in the same boat. So make sure to be careful with whether it's the depending on the bottle, if it's that little round thing, that round thing can dam this up from the inside, or this, like I say, it can get sucked into all kinds of stuff and create havoc. So we're gonna let it sit for a little bit, let it bubble up. We're gonna run the car for five seconds, turn it off, let it sit for a little bit, uh, run it again, and I don't think we have to turn it lock to lock like you do if you do a rack, uh, but you just gotta get all the air purged out of it. When you're filling this up, uh, check your dipstick. Uh, you want to be between the min and the max. There's a shaded area here that's ideal. And that's with the cap screwed all the way in. Uh, check the fluid, pull it out, look at it. You got to screw it all the way down and then all the way back out. You do that, you're just going to be okay. A fun life hack to just kind of eyeball where you're at. If you're just over the filter tower, that'll get you to about the minimum. So you want to at least cover that and then go over just a little bit. Finger tight should be good. Pull it up and we're just right at min and we're just right on top of that. So if you go however far apart those marks are above that, that's how full you want to be. That's your goal. And of course you got air trapped in there like this. I just filled it up. All of this bottom part is full of air. At least this. It's got a little hump. It's got a little Ford Ranger. A uh, French clutch over the frame kind of hump that you got to bleed around. So you got to run it, check it, run it, check it. There are easier ways to do this. Just so you guys know, it doesn't have to be this complicated. But being complicated gets you into the dealership to buy a new one. So basically you just look in here. If it's getting really bubbly, let it sit for two or three minutes. Um, turn it lock to lock after running it for five seconds. And then that will help spit up some more air. But you want to get all the air to the surface in here without it running and making a bunch of noise and making it worse. Anyway, that new line is doing the trick. It's not sucking air anymore. The whole point of power steering fluid is to transmit power. You can't transmit power if your fluid's full of air because the air compresses and makes a mess. And if it leaks out, obviously that's a problem too. So there you go. Now you know how to do it. Not too hard, huh? Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Bonus footage at the end. That guy's funny. Did you see what he did with the photographer? So when the photographer's taking pictures, he grabs like above his head, like he's the one picking him up. And as he stands up, he's like, Whoop. He did that? <laughs> yeah. I say he has fun at his job. He makes his own fun yeah, that's right. and entertains others. It's cool. That's what we do.